This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Too Old to Game. I'm your fear-filled host, Dave Oster. I'm joined by the one, the only, Mark Weber. The Bimmies. And the man-child himself, the original man-child himself, Ricky Whitmer. You didn't say the line you said you were going to say, don't bump the podcast. This is episode 10, Dave. Episode 10, bitches. We made <laughs> Double it. Double digits. Double, I didn't know if we were going to get here. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know if we had it in us to get to I the, didn't know. We might I was, die before we got such a lot of hard work, a lot of inconsistency, but we finally too got old. here. Might be too dead. <laughs> too old, sometimes gaming. Too dead to game. <laughs> oh my god. But we are episode 10. We are. Uh, mm-hmm. We are. And today we're going to bring to you uh, a little bit of Spider Man review from Ricky Widmer uh, from me. Mm-hmm. I don't. Re- I haven't played the game. I'm going to review it too. I haven't played it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're just it. like <laughs> armchair reviewing this. I've watched uh-huh. a lot of it on Twitch. Ricky's I actually played it. And I'm still going to review Mark's it. Mark's going to review it anyway. I love I loved Mark because mm-hmm. he's just going to give you his honest take. And yeah. it'll, be, it'll be spot on. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to talk a little mm-hmm. bit of Fortnite, as always. <laughs> uh, maybe cover a little World of Warcraft for the weekly update. Um, yeah. And then we're going to wrap it up with uh, Superman 64 remade. <laughs> so let's get into it, boys. Spider Man, it's a thing. It looks gorgeous. It's amazing. Like it's amazing. No pun intended. It is amazing. However, like here's what I'm saying. No, like, let's start with the positive. Yeah. What's the? Oh wait, I was gonna start with what's the pun? What's oh, the pun? Yeah. The Amazing Spider Man. Oh, okay. I, it's yeah. amazing. That went right over my head. And, or I could have said it's spectacular. Like yeah, spectacular Spider Man. No. But I went with amazing. No. All right. F- fair. Favorite, favorite thing about the game so far? <laughs> my favorite mm. the web slinging. The web slinging. Like, at first, when I played it, I was like, oh, I don't know what these reviews are talking about. It's not that hard to understand. Then you get later in the game, and you get, like, because there's three different trees. Yeah. There's an innovator tree that's more of, like, offensive abilities, mm-hmm. a defender tree that's more defensive abilities, and then a, they call it the slinger tree, where it's a lot of, like, for yeah. your web slinging and stuff. Mm-hmm. and. You go into that web slinging tree, yeah. it's like, holy shit, now I can do tricks. Mm-hmm. There's, at first, you're just kind of web slinging a little normally. And compared to what was that, 2004, when the Sam Raimi Spider Man game sure. came out, it was just like, I'm webbing the heavens. That's where mm-hmm. they're going. They're going yeah. right up in the sky. Yeah. Is there a building up there? Doesn't I don't matter. Know, probably. But, yeah. like, for example, if you're in the like little park area, there might be time where it's like, oh shit, I have nothing to web. And then you finally can web because that's when the light posts mm. are now under you. So it's like mm-hmm. if there's nothing to web, it won't let you do a But I mean, Spider-Man can't go splat. Like, no, he just he lands go and starts splat. running. I mean, they have yeah. other things. Like if you hit X twice, he kind of like, oh, I'm going to find that light post and pull, pull myself. myself. So it's like, right. zoom, zoom, where you're going forward. Or like there's one where uh, you hit the two R2 triggers and he'll do two webs, and if you hit X, he'll pull himself and then launch off of that whatever it was, a light cool. post, a wall yeah. thing. And it's just fun, like, getting from – they have fast travel for, like, certain things where it's like, oh, I might not want to go from bottom to top. In Batman, I used fast travel. In Spider-Man, I'm like, I'll just web slide so there. So literally the best so thing fun. about the game is going between places and not actually playing the game. That's, a, that's an interesting endorsement, Ricky. Mark, what's your take yeah. on that? My my take on that is uh, that I'm not surprised that that's probably one of the more fun parts of the game because um, I mean it does seem like it's fun. It does seem like it's interesting to wander around that city, and that was part probably one of the more fun parts of the Arkham games with Batman was the mm-hmm. other stuff, not the story. Story's fine, mm. but you know it's the collectible thing. Like if you're a fan of collectibles, then these type of games are your gonna know, go get all the backpacks. Ever. This one's and... got more. Well, the backpacks are like. And the thing I like about it is where Batman, you kind of had to wait till the end mm-hmm. to do everything. Spider-Man, it's like, all right, we introduced the like the towers that you have to hack into. Yep. I went around, got those right away, so I have full coverage of the whole city. Yeah. And then at that point, it's like, you know what? I don't want to continue the story right now. I'm just going to go around and find all the back pla- backpacks, and I did mm. that. I'm going to go around and take pictures of all the landmarks and stuff like avengers tower the sanctum the uh, madison square garden stuff like that yeah. around new york as well so it's like you don't have to go you can go through the whole story yeah if that's your jam but there's also parts in it where like the story will be like hey we're not going to give you that next part 
patrol the city a little bit, do mm. some of that, F- solve some crimes, go find some landmarks, yeah. do some side quests. There's research stations that bring um, Harry Osborne into it, and they're like extra side missions so you can get research tokens to yeah. unlock also all the suits that you unlock. From like the Spider Man, what is it, twenty ninety nine yep. suits from that. That's so You've got the spider armors. My favorite was I was rocking the Stark Tech suit for a while. Yeah. Then I got the Iron Spider suit. Now I've got a little bit of a choice to make. I'm either gonna go Iron Spider mm-hmm. or one of the final suits I just got today before I came to the podcast was it's called Vintage Comic Book. Oh, yeah. It looks so it phenomenal. looks like the comic book. Yeah. But the thing I don't know if I like, and I might save this one for after the story, is it makes Peter look like he's in it. Like, it looks like if those movies where it's like, hey, I'm a comic book character and I'm coming into the real world. And he just looks comic booky compared to the yeah. background yeah. that looks like real life. Which is interesting. I Two things. I mean, one, the city looks great. Uh, it looks awesome. The the thing that I'm curious about with this type of a game, because, you know, doing all these extra things is fun, and the story, mm-hmm. from what I've heard, I've heard mostly good things about that story. Um, but my main question is, because I have a similar complaint with all these mm-hmm. games, that they feel very similar, whether it's Infamous, whether it's Batman, you know, and Prototype. A lot of these games feel so similar to me, and just... You, you kind of wander around, you get somewhere, you learn some abilities, but really what you're doing is you're button mashing. Well, and How that's... different does it actually feel? Okay, there are, and that's what I was going to say at the be- beginning when I mm-hmm. said my butt. There are certain times where I'm like, all right, this is straight out of Arkham. Where yeah. it's like, for example, they have, whether it's Fisk, whether it's the demons for Mr. Lee, mm-hmm. um, you've also got Silver Silver Sable and her crew. Yep. Um. It's basically, hey, here's a square territory. There are guys walking around. All right, for wave one, you got to go on perches and like stealth takedowns and web them up here. And it's like, it's some of it is like, all right, this is straight out of the Batman game where it's like, okay, it's nothing. You're not reinventing the wheel here. Something and just doing those stealth takedowns. Right, but do you expect anything different out of this game? No, it's not like I expected it to reinvent the wheel and everything. The part, though, that makes it different that I like is when it comes to really, I would say one of the best things about this game is they were true to Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Whether it's web slinging, whether it's the combat as well, because they kind of reward you for, hey, Batman's a guy. He's going to be on the ground. You're just punch, 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 punch. Maybe do a, like, duck and stuff and yeah. do that. Where Spider-Man, it's like, hey, I'm going to get you in the air. I'm going to web a guy, like, web shooter. So he's all wound up. I'm mm-hmm. going to, oh, that guy has a gun. I'm going to swing my web slingers and try to yank that gun. Well, Spider-Man's just hand. a superior Batman is what I'm hearing. A little bit. But it's like mm-hmm. they, the best thing is they said, hey, this is the character we're working with. Yeah. And they made it to they where you can do that. The character. And you've got mm-hmm. tons of gadgets, too. Like, the yeah. different... you got electrical yeah. webs, regular webs. My favorite, the web bomb, where I can just, bam, on the ground, boom, and then, like, five enemies are webbed. Now, what I'm oh, interested nice. in with everything, you mentioned how it kind of rewards you for, for mm-hmm. doing some of these things. Does... Does it leave it up to your imagination? Are you able to be very creative? Or is it like, this guy's got a gun. Press square and you're going to do the scripted thing. It's a little bit of depends on, I would say it's what you want to do. If you want to run over there and just beat him up, Mm -hmm. or you can start to swing, I can hit square, and then I do a swinging kick. Mm -hmm. And I get him into the air. Depending on what tree you get to also, I didn't get this until later. What you can do is, all right, I'm going to punch this guy up in the air do all my air combos, and then the last thing I just bought was I can take triangle, yep. do another guy, and just toss him up into the air so I can stay in to the air longer. Death. And it's also, your mm-hmm. so your suit has a general power, yeah. and each suit has its own, but the thing I like is, let's say I wanted to use the Stark suit, mm-hmm. but I wanted to use the Iron Spider power or like something yeah. else, yeah. you can do a different power with a suit, and you can oh, match okay. them up however you want. Um... So each suit has its own thing that Mm -hmm. you can use. Like, hey, I want this. I like the Stark suit power, so that's what I use. I also like the iron one because you get all the, like, four legs come out, Mm -hmm. and it's, like, so much easier to beat up enemies. Mm -hmm. 
but it's like, what tree do I want? What suit do I want? What suit powers do I want? You get three slots. The ones I use is take less brute, like, punch damage, yeah. less gun battle, and then there's a focus bar which powers your finishers. I like to use webbing, so I like the webbing to times two yeah. on the meter to have mm-hmm. it charge faster. Interesting. Important, important question. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gwen or Mary Jane? It's MJ. It's MJ. And so right. the, the thing that I like, and this will get a little spoilery here, is I have not... So I'm not completely mm-hmm. through the story. I'm like in the middle of Act 3. So I'm towards so the very end. So you don't like completely press pause, but maybe yeah. like kind of press pause. Eh. If you if you don't care about spoilers, go mm-hmm. on. But if you truly do, come back, listen to it later. But Mary Jane Watson's in it, and that's another aspect where there are some where there was one scene where Peter went to her apartment. Yeah. And she's like, hey, I went and checked this out. It'll fade to a black screen, and it'll mm-hmm. say, half hour ago. And boom, you're Mary Jane Watson. See, I, I heard a lot of feedback about that. And people it's, not loving, you know. I'm I'm playing Spider Man to play Spider Man. I didn't not care to go on that. through like the bank scene, mm-hmm. especially where oh, I love that. That was she amazing. Goes, she waits in the line, and then basically she's the next one up. Yep. Oh, she filled out her deposit slip wrong. Gotta that was you. back of the line. See, yep. I thought that was cool because the whole scene uh-huh. with that is you're going through. She's kind of checking out like the Oscorp uh, GCT. Um, thing that's going on seeing what different um gadgets there are and that's where you find the dragon's breath and then mr lee and mr negative same guy he Mm. comes in he's like all right we're putting all the hostages well usually i was expecting all right mary jane's gonna be down there i'm gonna come through that vent as spider-man yeah but you look up and it's like holy shit spider-man's there it's like, what am I, like, what, I get to play as Mary Jane, like, you get to see, it's like, okay, press square here, and it's like, you see Spider-Man just swoop down, and, and it's like, yeah, it was, grab somebody off the it, ground. It's not that long, like, And maybe, then you like, look up, and you just see enemies hanging yeah, from the ceiling like a chandelier. It was nice. awesome. It's kind and of I funny. Mean, like, yeah. five, it, it was like it's five cool minutes. It's something different. Yeah. You know, I mean. And that whole thing, you're switching between, yeah. they eventually have you go back to Spider-Man right. to go back to Mary Jane. And you Jane. can make comparisons right. to, like, yeah. when you played as Catwoman in, what was it, Arkham City? Yeah. Um. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, but it is at least something to... I mean, I at least appreciate from what I hear that... Despite you also get to play as Miles, too. Despite yep. it being such a similar style when it comes to the actual fighting, the combat, mm-hmm. the, the skill progression, stuff like that, at least they're trying to do some of the things with the story. Because, like, I mean... And you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but mm-hmm. when, from what I'm hearing um, is, you know, where Batman was like, all right, you're in Arkham City, you've got, like, this day to do all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, where this one, it seems like they're kind of like, you can do some of this, but now some time needs to pass. Now you're doing yeah. it. Like, if, it makes it feel longer. Yeah, you don't have to do... So that makes the story, I don't know, it feels like the story is a little less just one contained thing. Yeah, it's exactly like... It's open world. Yeah, you can stop the story at Mm. numerous times. Like, the only one where it's like you can't... Like, it doesn't put you in a spot where, hey, I have to accept this next part to go back to something else. Yeah. Um, It'll have, like... Because it treats it like, boom, this is the mission that you chose to do. But even so, like, with, you know, with open world, with, Mm -hmm. like, we keep mentioning the Arkham games... But, like, with those ones, it always felt like, you know, the clock was racing. Mm-hmm. And, way, like, you have to get to you the next to thing a, now. A sense of urgency in gameplay. Yeah, you always have play. to get to the next thing. And it's, it's at least nice to see that it, story-wise, they did something to make this game feel different. Yeah. Um, and even if it, you know, boils down to basically probably a similar yep, and format. One of the only things that I, when I got to it, I was like, okay, I don't know if true Spider-Man fans are going to like this. Technically, they changed the Oscorp mm. um, origin story for it because mm-hmm. in this one, it's Octavius and Norman were college roommates, and he's like, "Yeah, they used to call us uh, the O's," oh, God. and he's like, "Well, we just put Corp in because of all those yeah. ladies yeah. in and, our room going oh. oh." And it's something where yep. like I get why they did it because it helps drive the motive for Octavius, but it's like. Octavius, then you can tell, really hates Norman. And then the mm-hmm. whole thing of, like, once he figures out the neuro thing, it just drives him crazy. But also then Mr. Lee, who's Mr. Negative, he hates Norman as well. well so doesn't? that's why they're on the same team and why yeah. when Lee goes to 
Oscorp. I was right, by the way, when the mm-hmm. whole raft thing came out with at E3 or whatever. Mm-hmm. And at the end, he goes, you. I was like, it's got to be Octavius. It was. And it's completely different in that cinematic because then you see like his um, claw, claw come down. Yep. He even he doesn't just say you. He goes, Dr. Octavius. Oh. And it's like he actually says his name. And it's yep. like at that point, it was really cool. But yeah. that's one of the most negative things that I thought of the story so far. Yeah. It's like when I got to that portion, I'm like, I've seen all this. So it felt like I have to get through it to get to what's next. And that was my biggest question playing so far is I get why they showed so much because you had to get excitement for the game. For sure. But I'm wondering if they showed just a little bit too much of the actual story and campaign that you would do and could have just showed gameplay of it in a different way just yeah. having fun slinging around the city no I'm talking about the one where it's like no it's I know what you're talking s- about yeah. I'm saying like if they should have just yeah. shown slinging around I mean you were city. cranky last time we talked about like Cyberpunk 2077 when you're like oh well they should be the first half hour of the game I want to play that now well exactly and that's like, kind of how I felt being a whiny old well, man and that's how kids I felt to get off just lawn. off my lawn playing that's the game where I was like okay yeah. I've kind of seen this already and it didn't but it's you kind of enjoy like it differently you, when you're playing it versus no, when I'm, you're watching it. I'm saying, like, because in this section of the game, yeah. the only part you're really doing uh-huh. is the web slinging to chase uh, Electro, which they showed me already, and then beating up goons to where if it was something like Cyberpunk where it seems like it has a little bit more of your choices mm-hmm. inflect it, like, this doesn't have they many also choices that you make. Cyberpunk, but yeah. that's how yeah. we play it. But, I mean, that's the only thing of, mm-hmm. like... I felt like at that part, it's like you were almost. Are you robbing me a little bit of yeah. that? Like well, it's, wonder a and lot that, like, of oh my god, like, this is awesome. First experiences, mm-hmm. things. Remember, like when everyone made a big deal about Skyrim coming out, and you know when it first came out, a lot of people were like, here's the first ninety minutes and stuff like that, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and it's like, all right, the beginning of that type of game is like nothing like you're yeah. just sitting 90 there minutes out of your stuff. 100 hours of play time yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, you know, things like this i can understand like maybe it feels like it's a larger portion of the game that you're mm-hmm. kind of be having exposed to you um yeah i just kind of wonder with with this type of a game are they going to be able to spin this off into multiple things like you know like arkham what is it arkham asylum city and then origins um and I will tell you when I get to the end of the story. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I but mean even so, we're like, going to DLC it, obviously. That, well, yeah. yeah, DLC, and I have a DLC that I would love them to do. Um, if they do this DLC, I'll consider buying the game. But, you know, with this, uh, you were able to spin off multiple things, and mm-hmm. all of them honestly felt similar, just like slightly better than each other. Right. Um, we've already had those games. Are people going to sit there and get another... Like, are you going to be able to get another trilogy out of these fans again? Are you going to be able to keep doing these? Or is Spider-Man kind of a one and done? And I'm not even saying just story-wise. Like, are people going to be like, all right, I feel like I played this game four or five times now. I'm going to say no. Like, obviously, there's going to be parts that are going to be the same. But the thing I felt like they've done so well Uh Mm -hmm. is, like, Arkham Asylum, it was... Yeah, Batman, like, because Batman and Spider Man have one thing in common. They have great rogues of villains. Spider Man has arguably the best villains. Sinister Six. And they're in it. Like, it's a different. It's a different Sinister Six. Like, Mr. Lee's technically in it um, when he's not in the original. But that was phenomenal because you get to go up against um, one of the best fights is. You've got Electro and Vulture. How are the boss fights? Because we didn't hit on that at all. Oh, this one. This one that they did, like the Mr. Lee one was in a subway, and it was a lot of reactionary, where it's like, okay, he's going to do this attack. I jump to the side. He does this attack. I jump up. And you yeah. just wait for him to get tired. You hit triangle, and then you beat him up. And mm, it's rinse and Pattern repeat. recognition. Just takes a little bit to recognize that. But the Electro Vulture one mm-hmm. was amazing because first they give you Electro, and it's like, okay, you have to dodge his attack, swing to him, beat him up. Then he's got a tower where he'll, like, shoot out different um, pulses. You okay. got to, like, uniquely dodge the pulse because you can't just press circle. You actually have to, like, swing out of the way. Oh, okay. But then you have to web shoot the tower until it blows up once it blows up you swing to him you beat him up and swinging to him is just pressing triangle okay you beat him up then they do vulture where vulture goes in you dodge him 
You do the swing in, beat him up, but then it's like he does his wing attack. Mm-hmm. You take one of the wings with both L and R1, you throw it at him. After you do that and beat Vulture, they go, okay, here's both at the same time. Nice. And you have to like, I'm mm-hmm. beating up. Uh, I'm beating up Electro. Oh, here comes Vulture. Dodge. Okay, I'm going to swing to him and beat him up now. And then it's like you've got to dodge and kind of figure out, yeah. okay, where are both of them yeah. at the same time, much like Spider-Man would have to do if he was, yeah. like, real. Which is nice because, honestly, my biggest thing that I can't stand about these games is the, here's a mob of 20 dudes. Mm-hmm. We're going to stand in a circle and come at you one by one. Like... That just <laughs> that just bugs the hell no, out of me. It grinds your great gears. Yeah. yeah, and it's nice to at least you know it's a boss battle, so it's a little different. But like, mm-hmm. all right, it makes perfect sense. It's not like you get them now, buddy. I'm gonna wait on the side. And, Let's both go at this guy together. And with the mobs, I think the thing they did better than mm-hmm. like an Arkham Asylum was there are so obviously it's like the same type of enemies, so you get used to them and then you yeah. know how to beat them. But it's like they've got so many different types. They've got the regular thugs. They've got the like almost kingpin like thugs where it's like we're uh-huh. a little stronger. Mm-hmm. You got to web them up and then you can beat them up. They've got like some of Mr. Lee's have like they'll dodge anything. So you have to web something like a garbage can, whip it around your head and throw it at them oh. before you can go and attack them. Um, there's the ones I hate are Sable's crew because they have like armor on mm-hmm. and they're impossible to kill. Mm. Like nearly we impossible. We shouldn't try to kill people, Ricky. Well, yeah, Spider-Man, you know what I, I mean? said. Yeah. Spider-Man murder he's people. He's non-lethal. He even mm-hmm. they even make a joke to that yeah. in the game where he no, goes, "Yeah, non-lethal." All over I, the city I watch him fling people off the sides of buildings. It's like, oh, there is still a web mm-hmm. attached. Okay, fine. And then, um, like Sable, she's got ones that have jetpacks, and it's like, how do I do this? I got to swing up, swing around them, or like jump up. Yeah. And they've also got like things where like the Sable crew, yeah. they'll throw this thing that'll wrap you up. Yep. You got to like quickly press square uh-huh. to break, break the, out yep, of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. So, nice. Uh, what I would love this game to do is whether it is like New Game Plus in a way, but not actually New Game Plus, or if it was just DLC, mm-hmm. yeah. just let us play as Venom. That's what I would want. I mean, if they let me play as Venom, that would make me probably hey, buy the game. Maybe, maybe, maybe in a sequel too, because that's the thing I like about it is mm-hmm. Kingpin. You fight at the very beginning of the game, yep, and then for the rest of the game, he's locked up in prison. So I'm sitting there going, they could bring him back. Oh, really, yeah. Really, the only ones it's like the Sinister Six they have. Obviously, Octavius is in it. He's mm-hmm. kind of the main. Him and Mister Negative are the main ones. Electro, Vulture, Scorpion, and Rhino yep. are the six. They have so many other villains. Like, I'm assuming that by the end of the game, Green Goblin shows up. Like, Norman becomes there, Green there Goblin. Might be a, or they there might be a thing it. at the end of the game. There but I mean, to do with that. After credit I scene. haven't got there, there to There is an that after credit scene regarding yeah, uh, a certain is. Osborne walking into a room mm-hmm. with another Osborne in a container. Yeah, um, yeah. You know. So I haven't gotten there yet, but I was assuming but might not there's be. something with Green Goblin in this. But maybe game. it's not the Goblin. Yeah, maybe, maybe. it's Venom. Maybe I would. Love maybe it. I've seen it already. Make it so much. Cool I know you have. Maybe so I watched up, someone I play Twitch. <laughs> I don't want it spoiled. Maybe I watched a couple playthroughs on Twitch. Rick, you can't press <laughs> press pause on this podcast. I can't. Right now. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been like, and that's the thing I've been trying to do, and I've been really good. Uh-huh. I haven't. Oh, if I've seen an arg- article with Spider-Man Four, yeah, our PlayStation Four have not touched it. I mean, that's have fair. Not touched it. Yeah, I'll, try, I'll try to not ruin your life then. Nice. There was one that I they're like, oh, that. well, some Avenger makes a cameo, and I'm like, not going to touch that, not touching that. It's not that. an important one. Um, but, I mean, I like the game. I love yeah, playing it. I, I get the itch of, like, we recorded the fast break last night. I just wanted to go home and play Spider-Man afterwards. Well, that's good. Like, I, It's been a long time since I've actually had a game that I've wanted to play mm-hmm. really badly, and I've stuck with it. Because, like, mm-hmm. WoW, I kind of, like, come and go in, in waves. There it is. There's the WoW. Talk. There's the WoW. By the way, Spider-Man um, killed the my talk. WoW. Like, I was on a WoW kick, and it By, by the way, it. I'm going to just drop this in here as minor sidetrack. Mm-hmm. Uh, WoW devs did an AMA on Reddit. Uh, uh-huh. Coming up to BlizzCon is mm-hmm. in a couple weekends. Um, mentioning how... Yeah, they haven't quite hit everything they wanted to to start this expansion. Things aren't exactly clear, so like, yeah. at least the devs are admitting, "Hey, we know this problem. Yeah. We're gonna work on it." Uh, but back to Spider-Man, being that game that it draws you and it makes you want to play more. 
That's something that I would love to find again. So, I mean, would this, would this be a game you recommend? You think yes. that just watching it's not good enough? You need to play it yourself? Play it yourself because just being Spider-Man, like, ah, that's, there it the, is. that's the number one thing. Like I hate they reading those reviews. Made, like, yeah. It just makes they, you feel like Spider-Man. No, no, no. But they mentioned like, like 25 but times. But that is like such a good thing of it. And it's like that's what makes the game enjoyable where you're playing it. And you feel like Spider Man. Is the story engaging? Yes. Very okay. like the story's engaging. You're in you're attached to Peter. You care about like there are so many different aspects to where like you care about Peter as Oh, like, how is the Peter? Like because I know the it's Peter split... MJ thing is very No, I was gonna say like, the, oh, okay. the split time is you're playing as Peter, not as Spider Man. So you play as Peter I know it's a when, balance. when you talk to uh May, because there's the feast, which is a homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. So you're talking to her as Peter Parker. Whenever you're with Octavius, there is a scene very early in the game where he catches you working on your suit. And at that point, I'm like, shit, he's going to find out yeah. that he's Spider-Man. But no, he only is like, oh, you're working for Spider-Man. He goes, I won't tell anybody. Nice. So it makes it important later in the game that Octavius wants uh -huh. to kill Spider-Man and doesn't know that Peter. it's Peter because yeah. that might change some things. The thing that really gets me is like the Miles Miles and his dad part. When I saw his dad team up with Spider Man, I'm like, he's gonna die because it's like you know Miles' story, and it's like, all right, the dad dies, so you're expecting him to die in this game, which he does. Then there's the whole thing that they play perfectly of Spider Man and MJ because mm -hmm. this is like Peter's just out of college, and okay. he's like. He's working for Octavius, but like when Octavius gets his funds cut, Peter doesn't have a job then. And Mary Jane Watson and him are broken up. Oh, and they play man. into that relationship so well. Yeah. Of that like, you're sad about it. Well, he, you can tell he wants to date her. She sometimes wants to date him, but then something will happen then where she'll pull away. Ooh. And the thing I love most is he'll be mm -hmm. on his phone and they'll show like the texting thing that pops up. And the best scene of it was you can tell she was upset with him because in this story, she's like, oh, we're going to be partners. And she's like, he's like, yeah, you'll mm -hmm. be like my sidekick or something. Um, and they have a fight where he was expecting her not to take risks. But she's like, hey, you know what? I hate when you tell me, hey, don't do that. Like, I'm a grown woman. I can do what I want. Yeah. Um, and he just goes, please be OK. Please be OK. Please be OK. Yeah, I'm OK. Yes. And then she says something else. He goes. Ooh, that's not okay. Can um, you like screw up the relationship if you make the wrong? You're not it... making choices. This oh. is like all cut. So you're not oh, making that's choices. A with it. Yeah. I wish um, you could sort of like manage his relationship there. Right? There's a little I think I it. think if they made love triangle in there, like you mentioned earlier, like Glenn, which one's it gonna be? Yeah. Like if they fun. if they love triangle, they, you got want... to choose your own adventure there. I think that'd be uh that would have been some quality. Some, some good open world to that. Some yeah. things I'm also hoping with the end I'm gonna throw out that him and Watson I will, I will refrain from facial yeah. expression when you do this. Him and Watson mm -hmm. are together. I want, like, I know it's not going to happen, but part of me is like, you you play a little bit of Miles Morales, like just walking around as Miles. Yeah. Part of me is like, let him get bit and let me be, like, maybe a DLC where Miles gets his suit yeah. and you're playing as Miles. Um, those are really two of the things where I'm like, you know what? Like, you see Miles Morales, and you're like, one of the best scenes is... Maybe that's the sequel. Peter saves Aunt May and mm -hmm. um, Miles from a burning building, and Peter's falling, and he just shoots the web up, and you see the web go up, and it's going to touch nothing, and then at the last second, Miles catches it, and it's like, oh my god, that was awesome! That's a little payback that I want. Mm -hmm. to be rewarded with but i know that'll be like a dlc probably if they say hey you'll play as miles yeah or it can be uh like you know when robin shows up in the arkham games and yeah. they're just they just acknowledge his existence and mm -hmm. then like all right I'm moving on my <laughs> robin like glad we gave a tiny tiny little nod of fan yeah. service to you but like the thing that's different about that that i like is miles is actually woven into the story yeah, yeah. all right no that's pretty great uh, so, Mark, any closing thoughts on, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the seeming overview of Spider-Man that we've been given? Yeah, I mean, it seems interesting uh, to an extent and, like, you know, different time in my life, maybe I'd spend some money on it when it was used just to experience it a little bit. But, yeah. like, you know, it's just, for me, I mean, if you're somebody that has one of those 
renting services or for some reason Black Red Buster Box. exists near you. You can Red Box uh, it. Yeah, Red I Box. I mean, people do the same old garbage where they just, you know, print out a copy of the CD and steal mm-hmm. it, but yeah. you can usually get one. Uh, then, like, yeah, okay, sure. You know, go for that to have that experience would be my thought, but I, I just... I couldn't even enjoy playing all the different Batman games because I was tired of it. I can't, uh, you know, I struggle to finish uh, a game like Infamous or something like that just because it feels so same old, same old. Yeah. That, like, it would be fun to, you know, sling around as Spider-Man. And I really, really appreciate that they actually put, like, a genuine story besides, like, Mm a bunch of bad guys are in the city. Time to beat them up. You know, and Arkham Games actually did do a decent job with the Joker part of the story. Everyone else was just kind of like, we're here because, you know, because we're bad guys. We're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate that they did more. I like that the game exists. It's just the kind of thing where I know I would get tired and bored of it pretty quickly. Also, the humor's there. Like one that I know you would like, Dave, is you're fighting... Um, Electro and Vulture. Yeah. And as Vulture comes in, Spider Man goes, Adrian, I'm Spider Man. And he's like, What are you talking about? And he goes, Really? No one gets my references? And then Shocker comes back in and he goes, I will break you. And he goes, See, somebody there gets go. my references. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for that. That does, that, that helps a lot. Or here. like Octavius is like sad about something. He makes, Peter makes a joke and like Octavius gets on and he goes, No, 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 I just make bad jokes. And like, it is Peter Parker and it's yeah. Spider Man and it's they're true to the character and I know that's like corny to say but that's the best part about the game and you don't get sick of it no never because okay. in never. The, in the little E three playthrough I was getting kind of sick of it mm-hmm. uh, and mandatory. I was a little yeah, yeah I was a little nervous of like is, are they going over the top or is, are they gonna is this just like yeah. a moment where like, it's filled in like Illinois Yuri who's the cop um, lady mm-hmm. that you're teaming with and for like. When you're solving crimes, he'll be like, I think it's time for Spider Cop. And she'll be like, shut up. No, like, stop. And he'll be like, Spider Cop needs to come and save the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So, Ricky, how many empty bags of Doritos? Five. Like, this is a perfect game. This is, like, one of the perfect games. This is a perfect game. It's Yes, it's got its falls, but so far this is the best game I've played this year. Wow. Best game I've played this year. Wow. I did not I did not I get didn't that expect vibe. perfect. No. no. I did not get that. There vibe. so now it's the, one of those I mean, we're nitpicking like, here but still. Yeah. Yes, there are some things where like I said, there are times where I felt like okay, it feels like I'm playing Arkham a little bit. Yeah. Um just but in they the play style. But like overall, I've had I've had fun playing it. Mm-hmm. Unlocking the suits is an amazing thing. Like I have just tried like I've actually done side missions yeah. to yeah. level up my character. To get the next suit, or like I got all the backpacks because you get the um, the first suit from Spider-Man: Homecoming, his homemade suit. Yeah, yeah. you get that. Or I did the Black Cat, um, all the collectibles for her. There are only twelve of them, but you get a suit just for doing that. And the, I know unlocking the suits is something that I want to do. Yeah, and it's awesome. And then the little side thing of. The Taskmaster is also in it. Oh, good has, old Taskmaster. There's challenges Got across. Lame, lame-ass villain mm-hmm. Taskmaster. All right. And he's studying you while you do these challenges, uh-huh. and he comes in to fight you. And the cool thing about his fight, obviously, is, hey... I beat, I got you this way. All right, now I got to hit you a different way because you learned my tactic because that's yeah. who he is. He learned your tactic, and then he knows how to defend it. Interesting. He's the master of tasks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Uh, I, I mean, don't think I, you could have framed that any better, Mark. Right. I'm, I'm glad that people aren't enjoying it, and, and even though there's some some people who were a little down on it, but, you know, I, I don't want to knock anybody because, like, I feel like it's the same thing because I enjoyed Madden this year, mm-hmm. and some people definitely feel that's the same yeah. game over and over again. And, you know, sometimes you just want these slightly different experiences. Or, and, like, how Dave's enjoyed WoW, mm-hmm. but people think WoW is it's just the same, same thing over yeah, and over. same game for, what, 15 years now? I've uh, enjoyed it, but I've also, like, like Fortnite. <laughs> lost my passion for it. Yeah, you know. Like, within, you know. Mm-hmm couple weeks it's, it's there and it's gone that, that's like, more of a me thing I we think had like a, a whole thing. podcast about uh, mm-hmm. world of warcraft we and did I'm glad that every you podcast kind of has an episode of world of warcraft it. yeah mm-hmm. or fortnite we'll talk about both of them today <laughs> yeah all uh, right we already, we already hit the world of warcraft i give i give topic. a small update i might, I might break into a large one okay later. um but let, let, let's move into something else because 
There was a recent uh, job posting out there for what was it? Um, the, the same creators of yeah, Arkham Asylum. Yeah, and Arkham... Rocksteady posted a yeah. job for an open world Superman game, and this was something yeah. that people thought we were going to get at E three. Like, hey, we're making the game, and we haven't. But obviously, it's on the mind of Rocksteady. They're if thinking we got a about. Job. It. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, Spider Man success definitely sets the tone, and, and it opens the door for you know a potential uh, larger super or superhero universe. Of games to be created you know i think that batman definitely laid out great groundwork for this is the recipe this is how you can put together a great game spider-man took that more open world gave you a lot more um it seems like play style fun and yeah. options and with superman's kit like they could do something special mm-hmm. or they could just recreate superman 64 and give us what we all <laughs> yeah. want or they could yeah exactly like they could do something great or they could totally mess it up yep uh you know, pretty equal chances. I just, I feel like, and I'm going to ask this question, mm-hmm. is Superman too OP for a video game? 100%. Because, yeah. Because, like, with Batman, it's obviously he's a normal guy. So it's like, okay, that's a little bit easier to make it, like, true to that character. Yeah. Spider-Man, like I said, the web slinging was big, making mm-hmm. that, like, the character. How do you make flying mm. realistic that's to Superman? Issue. I think there are two big issues. Of course, one being uh, Superman being too powerful Mm -hmm. um, in general. Like, you know, it it makes sense when Batman or Spider-Man are going to fight thugs. Superman doesn't make sense when he fights thugs. Mm -hmm. You know, Superman needs these, like, grand scale things that he needs to accomplish. Yeah. These big disasters. But the other part is Batman sticks to Gotham. Spider-Man is the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Superman's not a I'm gonna hang out in Metropolis, even though he does, but like mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense for Spider or Superman just to hang out in Metropolis when he could fly all over the world in like a matter of seconds. Mm-hmm. And then continue in outer space because you know he's yeah. Superman. Yeah, it just fe- it's gonna my problem is it's gonna feel too small to be Superman. And I honestly think in in my eyes, because Superman is so OP. The only way to effectively make a Superman game is either, one, make it in a completely different genre yep. than people are going to want, and then you get the, but it doesn't feel like what, playing Superman. What genre do you, like, do you have Anything. a specific I mean, genre? Or? G- you know, give me something more it's turn-based. RTS. Okay. Or, yeah, give me a real-time <laughs> strategy a mm-hmm. little bit. You know, give me something where it's not this open-world huge thing, okay. because it's going to become very apparent that... It's limited by his powers. But the problem with that is what we said with Mm Spider-Man. Then you don't feel like Superman. The other thing is with this is like the other way I could see them doing it decently is if like Mm -hmm. you kind of dumb down Superman a little bit. But then same thing. It's not going to feel like Superman. And I'm going off of what you just said because I never thought about that. Uh What if instead of making it open world, say, hey, we did that with Batman. Let's make it more of a story, more of a game like uncharted last of us where it's like hey here's your story but it's like here are your missions and it's like it's just the missions take away the open store or open Open world world. just tell an amazing superman story and then you can cater those levels into being superman and then it's like yeah it's smaller but we're putting you in this bubble to where you still got rings to fly through like it's okay you'll still feel like silver summer gold (laughs) yeah you'll still feel like (laughs) superman um i think actually you have the right idea there Mm -hmm. i I really believe that moving to a you know condensing the world down to just you're on this track Mm -hmm. you're doing this thing is the right thing if you don't do that like you said there's no good way to uh I guess depict Superman yeah. in a universe and just not feel like stupid broken like this is just a joke. Insane. Yeah. So if you put him on these missions, if you put him into a storyline, like which storyline do you think I guess would fit best for that kind of like where would you start off? Because I, uh-huh. I there there's so many again, there yeah. there's so much as far as comic book lore that Superman has that you mm-hmm. could pick any point in time to start from. This is which yeah. one would you go from? This is what I need. From a very beginning, yeah. Give me Smallville. Oh, let me shit. start in, and That's I don't Clark. want a whole bunch of yeah. I don't want a whole bunch of Smallville. Let me start when he like first figures. I didn't something expect out. that. Mm-hmm. I really didn't. Really, if you're, if you're gonna go into we're going almost, origin. Yeah, if you're gonna go into almost episodic type of like, here's a level, oh, you man. know, and we're containing it. Give me when he doesn't what's, have powers. Oh man, what's the um? That's different than what we've seen because the Batman and Spider Man have not right. been origin yeah. stories. 
Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily have to be true origin of like we're gonna go all the way from Krypton. We don't and have, have to watch that, up. but we could like just let know. me have it when he doesn't know he can fly. Yeah. You know, um, so that way you're figuring it out with him. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be the whole game of that. You know, just give me some part that of that fun, at the fun. beginning. You know, watch him kind of struggle a little bit out the gates, yeah. and like you, you're not quite as good as you think you are as Superman because at you're least still learning. Then, you know, you're kind of de- you're kind of dealing with the overpowered part. Of That's it. true. It's true. If he doesn't know it, you can't do it, and yeah, makes bosses and and getting through like easier because yeah. easier things. And, and that's the thing with Superman is Superman's not the same as Batman and Spider Man who no. rely mm-hmm. on tech sometimes. Yeah. Or Spider Man, you know, will start to figure but out some different moves. You but could use you know, that in the sense of like different powers. Like but that's the thing; he needs to is. learn that because yeah. if you start him at like. Mid OP to levels. later, <laughs> yeah, mid to later level mm-hmm. Superman. He already knows all his things he can which, do. What's he gonna learn? Which is easy because the way I just think about that is, all right, mm-hmm. you're gonna have these set of powers, kind of like with Batman and Spider Man, where it's like you don't get all the gadgets right away. You yeah. need to progress through the story and get those. Well, that's what I'm saying. About and you would you learn start those him, through the yeah, game. Yeah, start them early. So otherwise, it's not just like, mm-hmm. hey, level one, I can you know heat ray people. Mm-hmm. And smell some brains. The place. Lobotomize them. <laughs> yeah. Here's just exactly. Here's one problem I want to throw into it, uh-huh. and this is why I like your Smallville idea because you can tell some story about him basically learning his powers, and then yeah. basically you're learning how to use them as he's learning them. The problem that I have with a Superman game is. His villains, like his villains are all very different. Like, are uh-huh. you going to go the sense of a Brainiac route or a General Zod route or a Bizarro, a Doomsday? Or are you going to have it be like, well, we're going to go with the most popular. Well, the Joker to Superman would be Lex Luthor. But that's mm-hmm. one where it's like you have to, while Lex Luthor develops as the villain through the story, before he gets his big green suit that he wears... You gotta have Superman be doing something in the story while Lex's character grows yeah. into that final boss-like figure that you would be fighting. Mm-hmm. No, I think that'd be a really interesting approach to take. I almost wonder if, like, can we see like a mix-up of like game genres where, like, maybe for the Smallville section, you play it like a Telltale game, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then as it transforms, it turns more Uncharted or more you know, something, something else, like. I always wonder that. I mean, I'm not saying like visually it has to change that mm-hmm. much, but like gameplay wise, I'm wondering if that's something that I, I haven't known a game developer to do this. Maybe they have, where you incorporate multiple gameplay styles into a game more than just a mini game here or yeah. there, but like actually, like for this part of the story, you're going to play through it in the vein of a Telltale game. For this part, now you're going to play through this mission or mm-hmm. through these sets of missions as this. And, like, it kind of, like, goes back and forth depending on how you want to tell the story. I mean, it makes sense because the thing that I look at is I think of, like, all right, when you're thinking Superman Smallville, who's he going to be beating up? Unless it's, like, you have a scene where it's, like, I mean, there were ten seasons. I'm just saying, like. I can give you some background. I watched the whole thing twice. I'm saying, like, as as a Smallville (laughs) game, it's, like. Unless it's something where, like, all right, Clark's coming out of school and he sees someone getting bullied and jumped in the alley. And it's like, hey, get off of him. And that's where he learns he has super strength. I mean, the meteorite coming down shatters his ribs. Yeah, he just breaks a kid's ribs. Yeah. I mean, the meteorite coming down made super, I I forget the term they used to describe them, but basically a bunch of, Mm -hmm. like, people affected by the the meteor Mm -hmm. rocks. So, like, that was the main gist of the enemies in Smallville Mm -hmm. uh, for the majority of it. But, like... There's plenty of there's plenty of people. There's there's ten seasons of this TV yeah. show plus and you whatever. Just make stuff up. But like I would love it because it's like you could do Smallville. Then mm-hmm. you could jump like ten years, and he's like now an editor at uh, the Daily, and it's just yeah. like let's see what you know. Let's check in on his life here, and you could have like a really nice progression of like Superman's arc, and I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't yeah. know. I don't know that I would do Superman in the same style as Batman or Spider Man. Mm-hmm. I just don't think it. I, it's it just won't. Yeah. Work as well. No. You know, it's just a completely different kind of hero. The OP factor is too much, you know. Telltale almost isn't a bad idea because of the fact that the story can be contained and Superman can still be really powerful while at the same time limiting the player a little yeah. bit. But the problem is, what are what are the two things that people love about those type of games? Feeling like the actual hero. Um 
and all the powers and stuff that they get to do. And if you take that away, does that make people mad? You know? It's true. And that's kind of a struggle for this type of a game. Um, where if you change it out of that uh, open world type of experience, people are so used to that right now. It's where I think you get some backlash then. Mm-hmm. And that's going to make it difficult. Me, maybe there, maybe maybe we can have a successful open world him, open world him, open world Superman. <laughs> mm-hmm. I just don't know what it would look like, and that's why I'm struggling so hard to see it. Yeah, because you know, I picture basically we go from Batman, the fast travels uh-huh. and all that. Spider Man, okay, we can swing through the city. Now I've got Superman flying around the city, and it's going to be like, what? He gets a call from Lois saying, you know, there's a problem over here. His super hearing, he hears yeah, something he hears going something on over screaming. there. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah. To me, it just it doesn't have the I same mean, genuineness to it. Mm-hmm. Something like that, though. Like I just think, like so in Spider Man, when it's like Yuri calls you, and it's like, hey, blah blah blah, you gotta do this over there, and then it pops up over the city. Yeah, you do the same thing with Superman, except someone instead of someone calling him, he just hears it instead. It's like, oh my god, I gotta go. And help them, yeah, that kind yeah. of a thing. The question flies. that I'm going to ask: There's babies trapped in this building. Basically, here's yeah. here's the question I'm going to ask. So, uh-huh. from the Screen Rant article about it, it says Rocksteady's official website listed 20 job vacancies that need to be filled. According to the postings, applicants will work on a highly anticipated AAA title for next gen platforms. So far, Rocksteady has been careful not to leave any clues as to what game is currently in development. However, Rocksteady game manager Gaz Deves said on Twitter that fans will, quote, lose their mind when their next project is finally announced. My question I'm going to ask for you guys is obviously the reason we're talking about this is many people think it's Superman. Yep. Do you think it's not Superman? Are, do we go on the other side of it and is basically, are they going to pull the wool over our heads where mm-hmm. it's something we weren't expecting and then we go, holy shit, you're making a AAA game about that? I'm in. I don't know. I mean, I feel like going with another superhero game is just free money at this point. Like, mm-hmm. till someone yeah. shits the bed, it's just going to be a pile of money. And even then, I mean, people are uh generally getting overexcited for games and buying them out the gates anyway so it's like you're mm. gonna get your money's back mm-hmm. especially with superman which yeah. how many good the, superman games have we had none yeah i think the yeah. problem is like what's gonna happen in the meantime in the dcu with superman mm-hmm. you know if some if there's a nice launch around like a, a re, relaunching superman mm-hmm. um uh, mm-hmm. maybe there's hope for that what if we see like a Wonder Woman game? Yeah. What if what if I we go elsewhere? Totally that, love a Wonder Woman. But game. that's the thing. Like, I feel like for DC, for either DC or Marvel, there's not that many characters that they can make a game and that right. people are going to be excited about. Mm-hmm. For DC, you get Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, maybe Flash. I mean, Flat. And I don't even see the Flash one working. I don't either. Mm-hmm. But like, those are the things that I think people could get excited. Plus, I hate about. how he's depicted in the say, movie. Who else? I would, would say be... maybe Green Lantern. I wouldn't love, I love a Green, Green Lantern, Lantern game, but yeah, maybe... let's get a Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern game Maddie out there. Cool. Not Ryan Reynolds, but you know what I'm Why talking not about. Ryan that abomination Reynolds. of the movie. Um, again. Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't think there's that many type of things that DC has available mm-hmm. property wise. Um, yeah, yeah, and that's mainstream enough know, to and, sell. And if it's, it's rock steady. They don't have to do DC. It's true. Mm-hmm. They could be doing Marvel. You know, they could switch over and say like, "All right, well, we already got Spider Man, but you know, just start to go down the Avengers. Maybe it's Thor. Maybe it's Iron Man. Maybe it's whoever. You mm-hmm. know, there's so many different options you can do. Give us a Black Widow game. You know, like Splinter Cell style. Yeah, I would right? be so in on that. But what I would love to have to bring it back to to Superman really yeah. quickly is give me this trailer at an E3 where. You know, the Justice League is getting ready to fight some really apocalyptic, you know, event, whatever the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. You know, some invading Dark uh, aliens. I don't care. Give me something huge. And let me see Batman go down. Flash dead. Mm-hmm. Let me see these guys start to fucking just get killed. Yeah. And then Superman comes out and is like, well... I mean, don't do it this way because it's super cheesy. But, well, <laughs> it's just me left. 
I gotta unleash, you know, everything I got. Mm-hmm. That's the only way I can see an OP type of Superman working. Where and he's fighting already, against literally. And yeah. we've already had it established that everybody else is dead mm-hmm. because that's how powerful this enemy is. Yeah. Now Superman's got to save the world. You know, like that would be kind of cool. You know, make a very dark, apocalyptic type of thing. Uh, then I can see it. Um, you know what? The other thing I I would like to see. And I don't necessarily know how they you lose your mind over this because mm-hmm. we had okay games with these people before, but why not mm-hmm. X Men? Go back yeah. to X Men. Give me another good Wolverine game. The only oh, one that I Wolverine. had to double check is the one thing that it probably will not be mm-hmm. is the Avengers because Marvel and Square Enix are in bed making an Avengers game. Yeah, they've been talking don't about know that when for we're going to get it, yeah. but they're in bed making that one. Square Enix is you don't kind trust Square of Enix bad at releasing <laughs> games. Finish something. Yeah, that's not their jam. How long have we been I waiting mean, for Kingdom uh, Final Fantasy VII's remake? Or Kingdom Hearts. When they Kingdom go Hearts bankrupt. 3? Yeah. <laughs> New date came out. Mark right away said, hey, Ricky, don't get attached to that date. It's going to get pushed back. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. It, it ain't anything for serious. Well, boys, I think that just about wraps it up. For no our wow hopes. update? You All said right. you were going to go Serious WoW update. Right. Why not right here? Serious WoW update. Uh-huh. Uh, what they did with Azerite Armor was a fucking shame mm-hmm. because like the whole problem with Azerite Armor is that the traits that they give you the options of taking. They changed it because I have not logged in since I got spider No, no. So okay. the, the, the options are there. The problem is that the options, like if you get good options mm-hmm. on like a uh, chess piece, say, yeah. and then you get a chess piece upgrade that's like 30 levels higher than it. Doesn't matter if it doesn't have the better traits. You yeah. just stick with the old one. So like, people are still doing. rocking like three yeah. forties, even though three seventies are available. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't know. It, it, they did a shade job on feeling that loot progression and the necklace. Mm-hmm. Constant maintenance required to like continue to level it up in order to unlock the levels on the mm-hmm. next, next tier for Azerite. You just gotta do those dailies. I hate it. I hate dailies, and that's why I quit. <laughs> wow. Um, that's pretty much my wow update, really, boys. Quit wow, go back you to uh, D&D. You haven't played that's the raid again? Well, you I, been raiding? I raided the first week. Uh, this week, I did not raid. Mm-hmm. I was not feeling it, and that was mostly because I didn't I didn't log in and uh-huh. do a daily, so my necklace was so be far behind. It was Here's like, a question for you two wow yeah. lovers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, is there a Dungeons & Dragons tabletop equivalent to wow? There should be, right? Uh, I mean, there's unless you're going to do super, like someone super made a big dungeon explorer or something. Or super well, no, dungeon explorer? That's No, that's still too... It's not an MMO, but it's like... It's not MMO level, but it's dungeon crawler. Oh, should I know that? Well, no, I don't want it to be an MMO. I'm t- a tabletop game with World of Warcraft being the setting. Oh, and I don't think so. I don't think they have Because they should, because like, that seems obvious that it should exist. Yeah, no. And I it's mean, a nice little crossover. I'm sure there's some homebrew shit for like D and D. Yeah. Um. Actually, I found that really easily. Found it. Okay. Good. Like World, it ha- I, I was thinking World it has to exist, right? The board game. Yeah. Well, yeah. is it a board game or is it a tabletop? It's a board game. Well, it's eight hundred and seventy-five dollars, so it better be a. Pre- no, that's actual board. I don't want a board. I want like Dungeons and Dragons. No, it's like a board game. You, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I don't want a board. I want it to be a tabletop, like pen and paper. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. That's I was thought you were talking about a board yes. game. It's Dan- on the table. The answer's yes, and <laughs> okay, it it's, it's findable. Because it seems like it should Yeah, exist. there's 5e homebrew. Yeah. All right, yeah. It, I just... I mentioned that you should go back to Dungeons & Dragons. I want to play Dungeons & Dragons so bad! It would make sense that that would exist. Can the someone... Just DM? You want to you you start one up, Mark? Mark, can you DM? I would love to. I would love to. You want to do it? We'll do it. I would love I, to. Because Johnny wants know. to do it, too. My problem is... Well, Johnny, and, and all of our problems <laughs> is just the damn time commitment that it takes yeah. to play Dungeons & Dragons. I'm in. I would <laughs> love to play. All right. Boys, we'll see if we can get a D&D group off the ground. If I can just get my damn wife to want to play uh, Dungeons & Dragons, so oh my God, then I can have so an excuse fun. every... Seriously. Like, you don't... I think she'd enjoy it. I think it'd be like she had fun playing. Uh, Legend was it Legends of Catan or just Catan? C- Settlers, uh, Settlers of Catan. Of Catan. Yeah. They're totally different worlds, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a Settlers of Catan Dungeons and Dragons oh map God. that we're gonna play. No, I'm oh saying she'd like. We've played board games. We've played tabletops like that. It's, so a, she'll it's a smooth transition. We can yeah. do it, Mark. <laughs> Pathfinder has um, a Kingmaker. Pathfinder you know. does have similar games. I just bought Zombicide at uh, Wizard World Chicago, there which you, you know it's not exactly in the vein, but you know we're, we're getting further into the fantasy realm <laughs> at that point. We're murdering yeah. zombies. But yeah, we'll see. Maybe Tool to Game will have a uh, D and D group going. So there you go. I can hope. Game. I can hope. Uh, <laughs> but if you've made it this far in this show, thank you for checking us out. Uh, if you want to support us, you can always check us out on Patreon. 
if you hit that ten dollar tier, you can come on and be our first patron on first. Two Ultra Game. I'm gonna keep pimping that out until someone does it. I love it, and I love hearing from you guys, especially in the comment section down below. If you want to check us out on Twitter, on iTunes, leave that five star rating. If you think we are deserving of such, I think we are. I think if you we, don't I think, think we, we are, that you know that's okay. We you keep that you. opinion to yourself. Though. <laughs> <laughs> You, but nobody wants to hear it. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and you can always check check out our website, <laughs> mostvaluepodcast.com, for all the latest and merch. Thank you so much for listening. We'll catch you next time.